Okay, today we're going to show you how to fix the Z wobble on an Annette A8. Now, this same system is probably going to work for other printers that are designed like this. Okay, got this structure here. I do not know how to do the deltas, so can't tell you. It's probably very similar. Anyway, up here, you will, on Thingverse, they have some things where you can make a clamp that goes around here, or a, a cap that goes on there and goes over top of your threaded rod. Don't use them. It is masking, putting a band-aid on a misaligned machine. If these are if these aren't aligned correctly, the only way to fix them is to line them correctly, not make a part to cover it up. Okay? You're just binding on the machine. Now, so if you read the forms anywhere, you see people, oh that works for me. No, it doesn't really work for them. They're covering up the hole. Uh, so what you'll need to do to this is the Allen set wrench that goes into your coupling. Sharpie's handy. A ruler, preferably metric, at least on one side. And I use this off the A8. This is the uh, end stop mount. Can you get that? Mounts right there. I don't have it. As you can see, I have a modified one. I use that. It just happened to be the right size. Okay? If you don't have that one, I'll show you another way to do that. Okay? And those are the only tools you need. It takes five or six minutes. And the first thing you want to do is remove your threaded rods. Oh, also, something to hold up your extruder. And that's what I'm going to use. Okay? So I'm going to raise this up. You do not have to have one of them vices. You can put a couple of spools, anything there, just to keep it from coming down on you. That's the supports, all it is. You got a cat, throw it under there or something. I don't know. Just, just anything. Undo these. Spread them out. You might want to check these if you're getting a wobble. Make sure that it's not in the thread, not in the rod itself. They should be perfectly aligned straight. If they're not, it's uh, replacement time. I can't fix that. You want to be careful. These rods, they can't be bent. You want to make quality prints. Machine alignment is the critical part. Okay. My rods are out. Now, you take your couplings off, and you can do this right machine together. Notice my machine is fully assembled. It was printing a little while ago. Actually, mine were aligned. I'm destroying mine at the moment. For the good of mankind. Or womankind, if you're a woman. And you're going to be stubborn because I'm on video, right? Yes, you are. Now, the next thing you want to do is to take your metric ruler, and if you're very good with SAE, I guess you can use SAE, and you measure how far your staff, your arm, comes out of your motor. Mine's 12 millimeters. If you've got your machine assembled right and have the same motor on both sides, which you should, it will be 12 millimeters on the other side or whatever yours is. If you've replaced your motors, obviously, it may be a different length of shaft, okay? You want matching motors here. You don't want to replace... If you replace one motor, you've got to replace both motors. Same, so you have the same step on both sides. Now, that's 12 millimeters. Now, these rods are supposed to go in here, 5 millimeters. That's all they're supposed to go, not all the way down. And the shaft is supposed to come up 5 millimeters. So I take my 5 millimeters subtract it from whatever your head, in my case was the height was 12 millimeters, I need to be 7 millimeters above this plate. 7 millimeters. Okay. Yours is not 7 millimeters, you're going to have to measure it, measure it up like that. But this is an easy way. Find something that's very, very close. Don't have to be exactly 5 millimeters. That's the suggested. It could be 5 and a half. And I think mine actually will be 5 and a half when I get done with this. Or Six and a half or whatever. Six. But it's very close. Okay. 
And now that I'm on camera, I keep dropping it. Must be nervous. For my three YouTube users. Okay, there we go. Make sure that's a square here. Tighten that down. Boom. Boom. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Both identical. Identical is more key than the being exactly on the 5 millimeter. Because if you're 6 millimeters or something, you're okay. Make sure it's not centimeters, millimeters, the little lines. Next thing you want to do is we know this has to go in here 5 millimeters. No. The end of one of these rods was probably already colored. Or wore off by now. You measure out 5 millimeters with it right into the ruler. The one that counts to five. First day of my new ruler. Let's see. Can you see that? Okay. And I'm just going to darken it. The part that had right there. When I put that in there, that black's going to disappear. Now that's just one check. There's two checks I use. Okay. I'm going to re-thread this back in here. Okay. Once you get it started here, I usually just go boom and they're in. I like that. I don't know why. I just like that. Now mine went all the way. Now, basically, if you put your finger right there and look down at your black mark, on most machines, unless you replace something, I'm right on the money. I've double checked it. I got five millimeters there, and it's level right there. That's how you eliminate that dropping down out of the hole. Most people, when they assemble them and their directions aren't very clear on their directions, they drop this all the way to the bottom. This sits down the hole and it wobbles out or is way down the hole and it's not the way it's supposed to be. There's actually a gap between the staff shaft of the motor and the threaded rod. There's a gap in the middle here. You can't see it. There's a coupling in the middle of it. Somewhere in the middle there's a gap. You, where these lines are, it's air. Don't ask me why. It's just the way they did it. It's the way it works. Maybe they save money by making the shaft five millimeters shorter. I don't know. I just know that this system works and you don't have to print anything you don't have to buy anything you know, maybe a sharpie if you don't got one I don't know maybe a crayon will work it doesn't get old, I don't know why simple mind okay line it up here Zap it tight here. Now, you've aligned your z-axis. You're done with that operation. That's all there is really to that. But one thing you want to make sure you do now, you've misaligned your whole machine because you've taken the rods out and the couplings and everything else. You bring this down like this, and you got to measure. Doesn't matter what the measurement is. You gotta get it to a nice perfect spot where you can see it good. And you measure both sides and they gotta be the same. And that is now done. I didn't spend two hours printing apart. And the machine is correct. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like, push that button down there. You know that? that, that don't like. Like. That's what they all say on all the videos. I guess I'm supposed to say that. Have a good day. Bye.